So we're going to try a flipped lesson. So you're going to see my screen, you're going to hear my voice, you're going to write things down in your notebook, and then we'll go over the math problems tomorrow. I don't expect that you understand and know how to do everything perfectly. This is just to get a preview before we do the problems during class. So write down everything you see, pause the video when you need to, and you can rewind things if you need to rewind them as well. Along the way, you're going to see text boxes that I'll ask you to do some math problems in your composition notebook and then give me an answer so that I can see before class what we can and what, what we can do and what we need to work on. So write this down, 1.4 Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem, draw the picture that you see. So you can write it a squared plus b squared equals c squared or c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So terms that you need to know, the legs are the short sides, A and B, and the hypotenuse is the longer side. So the two short sides are A and B, A and B, and they are connected with the right angle. So you know those are the two that are next to each other with the right angle. And then the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that's important and that's side C, and that's directly across from, not next to, it's across from the right angle. So write all this down. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. When you're ready to move on, go ahead and hit play. So copy down example one, finding the hypotenuse, and copy down the picture. So we have the picture, so they show you where the right angle is with a little square. You have the two legs, and you're trying to find C or the hypotenuse. So we want to find length of C, hypotenuse. I always rewrite the formula. It helps me to memorize it. I know um, A squared is 6 squared. I know B squared is 8 squared. I'm trying to find C squared. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. And that's a sweet and beautiful number. It's 100. And I know if I take the square root of both sides, the square root of 100 is 10, and the square root of C squared is C. So I know the hypotenuse is 10 units. So write that down. Again, if you need to pause the video, pause the video. If you have a question, write that question down on the side of your notebook. When you're ready to move on, go ahead and move on. All right, everybody's favorite, a word problem. So you're going to write this all down. So you need to build a ramp into a building. So the ramp needs to be 5 feet above the ground. The horizontal distance from the entrance to the end of the ramp is 16 feet how long of a ramp is needed. So I'm going to draw my picture. So notice on the left side you see that my ramp is 5 feet high above the ground and my ramp is 16 feet long um, from the entrance to the end of the ramp to the entrance and I'm trying to find well how long does my ramp need to be or that top. Again I'm going to write down a squared plus b squared equals c squared because that's the formula I need to use. Um, my two legs are 5 squared and 16 squared, so that equals c squared. 5 squared is 25, 16 squared is 256, and c squared equals, and that's what we're trying to find. Okay, that equals 281. That's not a perfect square. So we're going to round to the nearest foot. If I take the square root of 281, the closest is about 17 feet. So again, here is my my two legs, there are my two legs, and, whoops, sorry about that, so those were my two legs, here are my two legs, there's going to be a right angle here, because my two legs are connected by my right angle, and then directly across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, or C, which is what we're trying to find, so that's, we're trying to find how long does this ramp need to be. All right, so write that in your notebook. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. When you're ready to move on, go ahead and move on. Okay, you're going to try these two on your own. So again, you're going to need to pause the video for this one. So you're going to pause the video. You're going to uh, write down the questions. If you need to, draw a picture, draw a picture. And you're going to solve them, and then you're going to give me the answer in the text box on the right. Okay, so here are the answers for um, both of them. Oops, it looks like I forgot to make this one look purple. 
So here's the answer for the first one. Find the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So I would probably have drawn the picture. There's my right angle. I have legs 12 and 16, and I'm trying to find C. So 12 squared, 16 squared, and I get 200. A bridge, the next one has 22 foot horizontal and 25 foot vertical. So remember horizontal is left and right, vertical is up and down. And find the length of each diagonal, so that's gonna be the side. So I could draw my picture. Here's my vertical, 25. Here's my horizontal, 22. And then I want to find the diagonal. Okay, so do the math, and you get 33, about 33 feet. So go ahead and make any corrections that you need to in your notebook. And if you have questions again, go ahead and write those on the side. If you don't know where the numbers are coming from or why we're doing what we're doing, make a note, and then we can look at that tomorrow during class. Okay, that was the end. So we're going to do this tomorrow during class. So right now, if you have any questions, write down those questions. So that was a quick, nice lesson. See you guys tomorrow.